I'm Marie Feebach of FeedYourFamilyTonight.com and today we are making asparagus quiche. This is a vegetarian quiche that is so delicious. It would be perfect for a Mother's Day brunch or any other celebration. I'm gonna be hosting a bridal shower for a friend's daughter this summer and I think this is going to be on the menu. It starts with a pre-made pie crust that I bought in the freezer section at the grocery store. You could also make this crustless. If you're gonna do that, just take a pie plate and spray it with cooking spray and then layer as I show you later. But if you're using a frozen pie crust, you want to par bake it so it doesn't get soggy. So I have a pie crust here. I put in a piece of parchment paper and then I have this big jar of beans that I use only as pie weights. You don't really wanna eat them after you've used them as pie weights. Pour those in to fill up the entire pie crust and bake it at 375 for 15 minutes. Then you're gonna lift out the beans and you have this pie crust that has already kind of gotten a head start in the oven and that's going to help you from having a soggy crust. The next thing we're gonna do is get the cheese ready. I like to use Swiss cheese for this and you mix it with one tablespoon of flour and the flour helps the custard from getting too soggy and the asparagus is gonna release a little bit of water and the flour is going to release that, soak up that water and make it extra good. You're gonna put half of this cheese directly on the bottom of the pie dish. Then you're going to add a quarter cup of onion that has been slightly sauteed. You don't want them to be super brown, you just want them to get a little bit of tr translucent. And I like to cook them with a quarter teaspoon of salt because I find that as if you layer the salt in the ingredients, it's going to make the dish taste better. So I have a quarter cup of onion that has just been slightly sauteed. Then we are going to go to the asparagus. This is one pound of asparagus that I have cut into about one inch pieces and then I cooked it in boiling water that was super, super salty called blanching. I have a whole recipe on blanching vegetables. Took it out. I did this a day ahead of time. You can do it right before, it doesn't matter, but the salt penetrates that and it also helps the asparagus to stay bright green. But I saved out a few pieces for the top of the garnish and I'll get to that in just a little bit. So this asparagus has been cooked in salt water. I'm covering that over the cheese. And then I'm going to put in the rest of that cheese. This is four ounces of cheese total, so it really isn't a lot of cheese, especially if you're gonna get eight servings out of this. It's not very much cheese, but it sure adds a lot of flavor. So then you cover the asparagus with the cheese, and now we're gonna get the custard ready. I have four eggs here, and to that I'm gonna add another quarter teaspoon of salt. So it's a half a teaspoon salt total in the recipe and about a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. And honestly, I usually don't measure black pepper. I just kind of put some in. And then one cup of half and half. If you want this to be really decadent, you could use heavy cream. If you want it to be a little lighter, you could use whole milk. I find half and half is kind of a good balance of creaminess without being a little overwhelming. And you're just gonna mix that together until all of the yolks are broken and the eggs have mixed well with the half and half. Once you have this all mixed together, you're gonna pour it over the pie that is ready to go, or the quiche, right over the cheese. You do not want to overfill this. If you have a little extra custard, do not overfill this because it will overflow in your oven and that is something that is not fun. See, I just spilled a little there. So be very careful not to overfill it. And then I like to lay just a few pieces of uncut asparagus on the top just to give it a little bit of garnish. This is gonna bake in a 350 degree oven. So you've gone 375 to pre-bake, take it down to 350, bake it for 30 minutes, and you end up with this beautiful asparagus quiche. If you have questions about the recipe, join me in the Feed Your Family Tonight Facebook group or follow me on Instagram, I'm at Feed Your Family Tonight. I'm always happy to meet you there.